Welcome to Care Talk, your happy home for incisive debate about healthcare, business, and policy, and now sports as well. I'm oh. David Williams, president of Health Business Group. And I'm John Driscoll, the CEO of CareCentric. Sports, really, David? Yeah, yeah. John, I'm tired of talking about health. You know, it's finally, it's time for the seasons. You know, we've got baseball starting up, basketball, you football, are. hockey. Well, so it's such a welcome break from the pandemic, John. Don't you agree? Uh, sports is all about the pandemic. I mean, come on, give me a break. H- how do you actually think sports is going to even happen in this environment? Every it, Until we solve public health, everything else is tertiary. Come on, tell me how this is going to work. Pick a sport. Well, all right, John, I'll pick a sport, any sport. How about basketball? Because actually basketball is doing a darn good job. They're in Disney World, which I love, in the bubble there. And you know what? They're doing the how smart thing. You, oh, sure, they spent $150 million bucks, oh, but they've got everybody in the bubble. Nobody has tested positive for coronavirus. And they're going to get, you know, they're going to get started uh, this going, week. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and 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 let's take another B. How's that baseball start? Let's talk about things that have already started. How's that working for you? Well, baseball's baseball. pretty good. I thought, you know, so 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 I didn't expect too much out of the Red Sox this year, but I saw their pitchers are a little better than Tony Fauci, who threw the ball and it just was like boosh went uh, it went nowhere. So baseball's got a little problem. They got a fish problem, Marlin problem. <laughs> well, just to be clear, the Red Sox actually do have a pretty significant pitching problem. But the line that you're pitching, that somehow we should forget the pandemic, is nonsense. Being none of this bubblicious stuff is going to work. This is a pandemic that doesn't care what you want to watch, how you want to watch it. If you're playing it, people are going to get sick. And that's exactly what happened to the first sport, baseball. And I'm glad that you think the geniuses in the basketball world who built up you know, Biosphere 3 for basketball the, the bubble to end all bubbles. They finally found a way to build a wall. I guarantee it's going to be penetrated. That's just. Oh, come on, John. Now, I think they s- sports betting is legal now, I think. So maybe we'll, we'll place a wager on the air unless we're going to get yeah. blocked. Listen, baseball, they got baseball in Korea. Yeah, they've got teams playing and they've got people there. So baseball is a great thing. It's a naturally socially distanced game, John. What's wrong with it? What's wrong with you? We're not, we're not in Korea, David. Hey, Word up! This is the United, the the uh, the the ununited states of America, mismanaging a virus at a state and local level. Uh, news new, news at the end of the day, updated every day. We have a, a, a an, an 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 unmediated rolling pandemic that, with basic leveraging masks and social distancing, and and. 21st century testing, which is available. If we just used the tools we had, we could have killed it. Forget, you know, Korea. Let's look at, you know, New Zealand, where actually they have unrestricted access. Rugby season has started. Why don't you bring up rugby? <laughs> John, yeah, of course. Why, yeah, why didn't I bring up <laughs> rugby? I, I, I always bring up rugby first. I don't know why I didn't bring up rugby. But, John, how about, I know you, you, hate, you hate America, <laughs> as I can see. No, what about Canada? No, 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 I love, I love the America that we should be. I don't like the America that you're ignoring, which is the one where we're not, we're just not managing the virus with the tools we've got. Look at, yeah, look at, look, look, look North, David, if you can't find a way to understand the beauty of rugby and the brilliance of the government of New Zealand at basically quashing this, then look at, look at Canada, which was a little bit slow on the uptake, but dramatically better in terms of managing uh, the, the 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 social requirements to to grind this pandemic down so they can open their economy and people can start to near socialize. But look north because they won't even let uh, you know their teams that are dealing with primarily with Americans like their baseball teams play in 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 uh, in Canada. Note that that hockey is likely to open, but probably all north of the border. I mean, yeah. The, the distinction here is that until you actually manage the 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 pandemic you manage the disease you do your job you can't play your sports well john i do think that is instructive as you said that the, the toronto blue jays have been uh, exiled to uh, buffalo new york a fine town but uh, not known for major league baseball and all the hockey is going to be played uh, up in toronto and in edmonton you know i was talking to some folks in canada the other day and they're too polite to say this but they didn't disagree when i said you know when you're living in canada it feels like you're living in the attic of a crack house doesn't it and they agreed with that. 
So I'm afraid That's that is the case. Strange thing that normally I would attack it, but I'm going to leave you with the crack house. Uh, okay. Next, uh, but the the basic thing is we all want to see sports. We all enjoy sports. Forget the sports that you might individually want. Perhaps you don't, but most people really want to see professional sports. It brings people together. But one of the other things that should bring us together is solving for the basics. And we're not talking about ending the virus. We're just talking about managing it. And if we could do the basics, we would, we would, we would be able to safely open. I think all of these sports teams are um, living the, 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 the or, or potentially uh, trying to manage to a narrative that they can control a virus that's found its way to penetrate into every other aspect of American society. I don't buy it. You may believe it, but I don't buy it. John, I have something for you to buy because actually some of the baseball teams, I think the Dodgers are selling, uh, you can put a, a cardboard cutout of yourself, maybe with your negative face in the crowd for 300 bucks. But, uh, but John, how about, you know, the good news is, you know, forget about all these, forget about all these minor sports, you know, basketball, baseball, we still got the NFL. They're going to go business as usual, fans in the stands, no. make a decision at the local level. Oh, Come on. That's America. <laughs> it is. It, I mean, if you, if you look, look at the sports. You've got um, uh, complete disorganization, uh, the NFL. That would be like the, the USA. You've got uh, control and manage. That would be like uh, the NBA. Um, and then you've got baseball, where some teams seem to be doing better than others. That's like Europe. I mean, at the end of the day, the notion that the NFL is going to open and maybe they're going to have fans and maybe some teams are going to play and they're going to let the individual team owners. It's just as disorganized, at least at the moment, as our own approach. And again, I, I, I think that we're we're kidding ourselves. We're the, 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 the rush to open, sensible though it may be from an economic perspective to open and let these sports play. Uh, just runs the risk of, of 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 feeding that line that somehow we're managing this virus when we're not. And you may want to believe that, but I don't. Well, well John, my my son, who's a big uh, NFL fan, told me he thought the NFL you know, was reasonable with their plan because you know football is so dangerous as it is. You don't expect you're going to retire and you're going to you know live a, a healthy life after that. Whereas like baseball, you expect to walk away with your full your full faculties. So it's not even that much more dangerous to have coronavirus as a football player. That, that was his take. That, your 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 son is as contrary as you are. I mean, I mean, come on. I mean, th th these are folks who spent their men and women who spent their entire lives, you know, developing specific skills to compete and enter entertain and engage us. Th the notion that they should be putting themselves at risk for a virus, the full impact of which we don't even know when people get sick, how sick they get, and how long lived the symptoms are. For twenty percent of the people who get coronavirus. Uh, who get sick with coronavirus, they've got symptoms, pretty serious symptoms beyond three or four months. We're very, we're very, still very early in the stage of understanding this virus. I don't think we should be risking fans or players in this environment. Well, John, I think, you know, it's all, all kidding aside here for a moment. I mean, I, I, I think we had both hoped that uh, this time by now sort of herald the kind of the end of the pandemic and a return to normalcy and, and could have uh, if we had managed the virus uh, appropriately. And I think that you know, what, what we're seeing here is we're just, we're just nowhere near that. And I wonder what you think, you know, as we come into the fall, kind of this is a harbinger for schools, for school athletics, for just general economic activity. I mean, where are we? We're, we're still in stage one, David. I mean, you've got um, Europe is, is opening up. Um, uh, New Zealand is fully opened. Um, Korea is mostly open. These are, these are countries with, with very similar uh, social profiles, density of living, uh, they initially had very similar viral profiles. In some cases, in some areas, it was, the geographies, it was really bad. Uh, but they they pulled together as countries and as communities and as individuals to combat it using the same tools that we could. Um, we haven't. And so we are effectively where we were in March. It just the impact of the virus is hitting different states at different times. Uh, you know, hopefully we'll get some relief at the election. Well, John, I was planning to conclude this episode by uh, asking you to sing along with me, take me out to the ball game. But I guess after uh, the conversation, we'll have to we'll have to leave it. Uh, I think anything would be better with O Canada. O Canada is nice, uh, nice, John. But I'll have to I'll have to look at the words, especially I can, I can do the French version, but I don't know about the English version. So with that, let's conclude yet another edition of Care Talk. I'm David Williams, president of Health Business Group, and I'm John Driscoll, the CEO of Care Centrics. Thanks for listening. 
Hey there, listeners. Want more Care Talk? There's more to be had in our other episodes, so be sure to look for those and subscribe to Care Talk on your favorite service.